Hello and welcome to this video in which we're going to solve a jigsaw Sudoku puzzle. Now you can have a go at this jigsaw Sudoku puzzle before watching the solve by clicking the link that appears in the description. Okay, so we're going to start by looking at where the sevens can go in the grid because we can see straight away there's a lot of sevens. And looking at row seven, it can't go here, here, because of this one. Here, 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 so it must go here. Uh, in this light green jigsaw region, can't go into these squares, so it must go here. Um, now looking, where can the nine go in this region? It can't go in any of these squares because of the nine here. And because of the nine here, it can't go here, so it must go here. And now we've just got one seven left to place, which must go here. Okay, next I'm going to look at this square because it looks very constrained. So it could contain a 1, can't contain a 2, could be a 3, can't be a 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 or 9. So let's see if we can narrow that down a bit. Well, let's see where the 3 can go in this column. And we see the 3 can't go here because of this 3, it can't go here because of this 3. And it can't go here because of this three. So the three must actually go here or here in the column. And since these two squares belong to the same region as this one, then that can't contain the three. So that must actually be the one. Now let's take a look at where the three can go in this column. So we can't have a three here. It could be here or here. And it can't be here because of this three. It can't be here because of this three. So it looks like it's going to go in one of these two squares, so I'm just going to pencil mark those two. Now let's have a look at the column next to it, this column. So we can't have a 3 here. We can't have the 3 here, because if you remember we just said the 3 in column 8 must go here or here. And so this also can't be a 3. Which means that the only place for 3 in column 5 is one of these two squares. Well, these two squares both belong, obviously, to the same jigsaw region as this three. So if one of these two must be a three, then this can't be a three, which enables us to place the three there. I'll just remove pencil marks on those two. And in fact, since we knew one of these two had to be a three, that now gives us a three here. Okay, now I'm going to look at this square here, so it can't be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, so this must be an 8. Um, that now, let's have a look here, we've only got 3 squares left to place in this region. So this can't be 1, 2, 3, could be 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 or 9, so this must be a 4. So it's just looking in this column now where the three can go. It can't go here, it can't go here, can't go here, can't go here, can't go here. So this must be the three. Now let's look at this row. This can't be a three, this can't be a three, can't be a three, can't be a three, can't be a three. So three must go here. Now looking in this box, where can the 9 go? Well, it can't go here <coughs> or here. It can't go here. It can't go here. So this must be our 9. Uh, now, just got two squares left here, so I'm going to use some pencil marks. So this can be 6, 9. And this can be 6, 9. Now let's put some pencil marks in here. So this can be... 3, 6, 5, 6, 5, 9, and 3, 5, 9. We've just got 3 squares left to place here, so let's pencil mark these. So that can be 2, 
five, eight. This can be, no, this has to be a two. It's the only option. And so this must be five, eight. We've just got three squares left here. So let's quickly pencil mark these. So that's one, six, eight. Six, eight. And one, six. Okay, so looking at this box, where can the two go? It can't go here or here because of this two. It can't go here or here because of this two. So that means that we must place a two here. Now we've only got three squares left in this red jigsaw region, so I'm just going to pencil mark those. So this can be five, six, one, five, six, and also one, five, six there. Okay, looking again at this box here, the 9 can't go here, so this 9, and it can't go here, and it can't go here, so this must be the 9. Now if that must be a 9, this can't be a 9, it can only be 6 or 9, so it must be 6, and therefore this square next to it must be 9. Now let's complete the pencil marks in this box, so we've only got two more squares to pencil mark, so this could be one, can't be two, three, four, five, six, seven, could be an eight, and this square can be a one, can't be two, three, four, could be a five, so this is one and five. Um, now I've just got to put some more pencil marks in. So let's complete this column, as we've only got three squares left to pencil mark. So this could be one, four, five. We've got the one, five here. This can be four, five, six, and I think all those options here, so one, four, five, six. Um, now we've only got three squares here, so it is useful to put pencil marks in on a jigsaw sudoku. Um, it can help you spot moves more quickly later on, and the grid can tend to collapse. So this can be one, eight, this is two, eight, and this is one, two, and eight. Um, we've only got three squares here, so what can these be? One nine, one two nine, and one two. Okay, so let's look at where the nine can go in this final column. Okay, so that can't be nine. And so the only place for the 9 in the column is this square, because it can't go here, with the 9 here, here with the 9, there's a 9 there, 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 and this is a given. So this must be the 9, which means we can take out the pencil mark of a 9 here. And it is important to try to remember to keep your pencil marks up to date. Now we've only got one 9 left to place in the grid. We've got the other 8. So that just leaves us a 9 here, and we can see it's now the only option for 9, in any case, in the column. So we place the 9 here. Okay, looking at this column, let's see where we can place an 8. Now this is a good example of where the jigsaw regions can make it quite hard to spot where you can make progress because it looks like the 8 can go in this square and in this square. It clearly can't go here because it's only got 4, 5, 6 and there's an 8 there and it can't go here because of the 8 here. But actually if you have a, uh, another look at this 8 here, 
It means that none of these four squares can contain an 8 because they're in the same jigsaw region. And these four squares all belong to this column. So that means the 8 in this column must be in one of these four squares. And these squares also belong to the same shape as this square. Now since an 8 must go in one of these squares, this can't contain an 8. So actually, although it may not be immediately apparent, we can place an 8 here. And let's just take out the pencil mark of an 8 here. Okay, now we've got one 6 left in this row. Okay, so this square can't be an 8, because they're here, so we can place 2 in here. Let's just finish off our pencil marks, so this is 4, 5. Now where can the 2 go in this column? Well, it can't go here or here, so it must go here. And with our 1, 2 here, then we can resolve those. 1 and 2. Now, this 1 here means that this must be a 6, and therefore this must be a 1. And so we've completed our first row. 7, 9, 1, 4, 2, 3, 8, 5, 6. Let's take the 1 out as an option from this square. So that's 5, 6. Um, and now this square can be 4, 5, and this square 4, 5. There's the only two options left in this jigsaw region. Okay, so we've got 4, 5 and 4, 5 here, so we can take out the 5 here. That means this must be a 6, and this must be the 1. Okay, now that we've got that there, we can now, I think, resolve this row. So this can't be a 6 anymore, so that must be a 5, which gives us... 3 here and gives us a 6 here. Now a 3 in this box can't go here because of this 3, it can't go here and it can't go here. So this must be a 3. This must be a 4 and so this is 1 8. So if we have 1, 8, 1, 8, then this clearly can't be a 1. This can't be a 1, we just haven't removed the pencil mark. And so this is the only place for the 1. So now this can't be a 1, so that's an 8, and this is a 5, now this must be 1 and 8, this can only be a 1, let's take the 5 out from there and the 5 out from here which places a 4, and so now we can complete this column, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, so that's a 5, that gives us a 4 here, which gives us a 6 here, that gives us a 5 here, which gives us a 4 here, and a 5 here, so the pencil marks are now unwinding very quickly. Now what have we got left here? We've got a 2 in the row. This must be the 5. Up here we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, which gives us a 2 left here and 4, and then to complete this column, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, we've got one square left here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, okay, and now we've just got a few squares left, this must be an 8, here we've got a 4 and a 6 left, 
So that must be four, six. And then to complete the puzzle, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and eight here. And finally, a one here. Let's check. Yep, that's all good. And that's how to solve a jigsaw Sudoku.